Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would take you around and do a little shop tour and show you where I work. Um, unfortunately my mitre saw is just died today. I don't really know what's going on with it but it's just not cutting. So I'm in the market for a new mitre saw. Um, this workshop it's 12 foot by 16 foot. Um, I haven't got the most tools in the world but it is me. There's a couple of things on the list I want. Um, I'd like a band saw. But next, obviously, I need a mitre saw more than a bandsaw. Um, so let's get started on the tour, and I think we'll start right beside the door. As soon as you walk through the door, we've got some gloves, blue roll, tape, clamp, some more clamps. There should be clamps here, but I've got them clamping something else up, a bit of PPE. Um, as you go down further, we've got my little heater. And right on the floor, we've got some random junk. As you come along, I've got some more things hanging up, wire brush, gloves, and a, a wallpaper guide thing. Onto the, the bench, this is where I charge my um, batteries. Over here, I've just got a random assortment of things. So, this is uh, speed bits. Um, I've got router bits, uh, roll plugs, uh, screws, mini socket set, hole set, another mini toolbox, um, I think a travel one, I've got spirit levels, chisels, screwdrivers, too many hammers, um, oh god I'm trying to think the names of everything, um, calipers, squares, I keep all my glue in this little random thing, I made this a long time ago, but this is a buffalo sauce bottle, it works great for like, getting the glue out. And these are just cheap little spreaders as well. Um, but they're great if you're doing small areas. Uh, moving down, just a very simple rack I've made here. I've got some tiny little clamps, to be honest, I've never used them. Um, and all different pliers. And down here, this is where I hook all the... Um, all of two tape measures that I own. I do own more, but I couldn't tell you where they are. Um, random bits. Scissors, I find I use scissors a lot more than I ever thought I would. So I've got scissors and I've got the few different saws I have. Um, regular saws, pull saws, um, Corpman saw. As you can see, tenon saw. I would like to replace these at some point. And then along here, this is one of the most used things in the entire workshop. It's my little magnetic rack. Uh, random bits and pieces. This is my paint screwdriver, um, wallpaper scissors, multi-tool, um, different bits and pieces. I use this in the little multi-tool I've got. Um, I've got more hanging up. A random blade, I think that's uh, oh, at off a school, so I no longer own. And I have this old chopping board here, granite chopping board with some double-sided tape on to hold um, some sandpaper and I use that for flattening off planes. An old cup, I just keep random pens whatnot in. As you move down under the bench, I've got a lot of scrap um, plywood and whatnot. All the power tools, so I've got sanders, circular saw, different sanders, jigsaw, um, heat guns, router and whatnot, uh, a big tub of bird food. And under that, I've got all of these containers. Um, and they all hold various things, so that's car cleaning stuff. I've got fishing gear, uh, gardening stuff, just all sorts, really. As you move on into the, the corner, I've got this random shelf here. Um, to be honest, I built the workbenches round it, so that's a bit of a problem. But I've got these plastic drawers, dead cheap. I keep all sandpaper polishing stuff in there. Down the side I've got these little glue blocks basically, it's a piece of wood with some um, cling film around it to help keep them flat, a random outdoor light, some random heat proof paint, a uh, drill bit, god knows why. And then in here this is where I keep a lot of assorted things, so I keep this when I'm restoring planes, box off the um, pocket hole jig, paint, random pots of screws and then down into this hall of darkness um, I've got a tool bag, big spirit levels, uh, clamps, 
PVC tube, and more PVC tube, and there's just a, there's even a generator and a car jack down there. I also forgot to show on the workbench, I have my Craig pocket hole jig. As you come round onto another workbench, um, on top I've got these two boxes. I lost you for a second then. So on top of the second workbench I've got these two boxes and these are kind of my junk drawer of the workshop. So I've got random bits of tape, um, cling film, this is off the heater, this is off the uh, planer, all sorts of different bits and pieces. Um, I've also got a couple of lengths of wood on the workbench at the minute. I keep the hand planed with the blades retracted. Um, I like the whiteboard for writing things down. Um, spoke shaves and underneath so also another mix bow so I've got a couple of boxes that I currently need to put in the burner but I haven't yet a bin, use it all the time I've got a tightened planer thicknesser which needs to go back to the screw fix because it's rubbish and my trusty old Henry Hoover I don't have dust extraction but I do wear good PPE and yeah, maybe that's a thing for the future as we move along I've got different accessories for holding down work when using the table saw and I've got my old Wix miter saw. It was good while it lasted but unfortunately it's not very good anymore. And then on this workbench it's just empty. Underneath um, I've got an old unit that I need to disassemble and my lawnmower. And then in this corner we've got the other part of the Hoover. I've got tons of fishing rods. And down in this corner here, we've got shovels, wrecking bar, suit and bush, all that pajas. And under the next workbench, I have these plastic drawers. Top one sandpaper, next one's uh, electrical, and the bottom is uh, finishing cloths. So I've just got cloths in um kitchen roll. And on top of these, I've got currently a manual, but I'm just getting something that I want to read, and I just keep random paper for jotting down ideas. I've got another one of these drawers, and at the minute it's just kind of dumping ground, sweeping brush, try and keep it clean. And this bucket I kind of use as a, a rubbish bin. And I've got a bag of sawdust that I just use on the burner. On top we've got the, the record grinder, and I've also got the jig to sharpen the tools. Behind that we have I've got this with water in, just to keep the tools clean, dressing wheel, uh, fingernail jig, and oh, as we move along, I've got my record DML 305 lid. Up on the wall, we've got these two uh, adjustable wrenches. I mainly use those for adjusting mandrels, and as we go up, I've got my pen shelf so in here i've just got different bushing i've only got two at the minute i've only recently took up turning different pen blanks uh center finder and this little thing is way overloaded but uh drill chuck different live centers spanners whatnot as we move along i have my turning chisels um i don't have that many yet work in progress and then I've just built this rack quite a few years ago now and that just keeps all my finishes, paints, extra glue. Then on the next workbench we've got my um, disc and belt sander. I use that quite a bit. More the, the disc sander but I like that and behind there is just a load of random bits of wood. And then as we move along I have my drill press. A piece of ecky. I got free. It's a very, very dense hardwood. I was thinking about making a mallet with it and up on this wall I've got different drill bits, um, size gauge and then some really random bits and pieces. And I've also got these um, different holders and there's all sorts in here. Um, everything from screws to, to pins, punches, blades, standing knife blade and the one below is really random too. That's where I currently keep all my drill bits. Random bits and pieces. This is all turning kits. Um, more random bits and pieces. Long screws, long screws. 
different handles. These are bottle openers. And in here, that's also really random. Underneath, I'll keep just drill bits, more screws and my drill. And then underneath that, I've got a wood store. And there's a lot of wood under there. Um, at the minute, it's completely full, really. Probably a little bit more. This is a Christmas tree from a few years ago. I'm thinking about doing some little decorations this year um, for our tree. Lastly, as you sight down the workshop, I have my table saw. It's a clock table saw. Um, little fence made for it, and that goes onto my main central workbench. Same height, well, it's slightly higher, so it can drop off. That's great. My camera tripod. And under here is just a random assortment. I've got this box for offcuts. I've got some drawers in those drawers, all sorts of things, sharpening old tools manuals everything like that so guys that's the tour of my workshop i hope you liked the video i hope you'll come back for another video and if you've got any questions about the workshop uh, let me know i think i forgot to mention that i've also got some racks on the wall where i keep longer pieces of dowels um longer pieces of wood trim etc and there's even a bit of copper pipe and pvc pipe up there those are the racks i just mentioned and that just keep longer lengths up and out of the way and it does me so once again thank you for watching the camera's just about to die which is not good at all um i hope you like the workshop drop me a comment below and subscribe and it would really really mean a lot thank you very much